Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. Today's video, we're gonna be doing my August perfume tray. I said this last month in July that it's crazy that it's already August. Absolutely nuts. I mean, I feel like we just started 2023 and we are already into the, starting the eighth month of the year. I don't know, that's crazy to me. But anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be doing my August perfume tray, but real quick, of course, as always, I'm gonna go over July's perfume tray, let you know how I was feeling about the fragrances. Are there any fragrances that I'm gonna be decluttering? Was I not feeling it? Did I love them? If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get into the video. Okay, so we have by The Seven Virtues Coconut Sun. This is a fragrance that I really find super refreshing. I really love wearing this in the summertime. It's very, very hot where I live right now. We are in dead, dead summer, and this is just what I needed. This is refreshing. This has coconut water, which I find ultra refreshing, and there's some lemon in here as well. It's got a little bit of some florals in here, but to me, the florals are not the star of the show, which is what I really like about it because I already have enough of those type of fragrances, and the coconut water just makes this different for me. I don't really have anything else like this in my collection. It's not the most long-lasting fragrance in the world, but I don't mind because I only wear it on super, super hot days. And yeah, I just think it smells incredible and just helps me feel like I've I'm cooling off. This is Coconut Sun by The Seven Virtues. I finished my travel size of Citrus 08. Again, another really good summertime fragrance in my opinion that is underrated. I actually get pretty decent performance out of this as well. This isn't a super loud performing fragrance, but it is a long lasting fragrance on me. And I was surprised at how long this kept going throughout my day. I wore this to work and this made it through my entire shift. And I think it smells really unique. This has grapefruit in the opening. So that's not gonna be for everyone. You know, this isn't your typical lemon, lime, citrus fragrance. This has grapefruit. It gives it something different. It is a little bit sharp, so keep that in mind. But then there's rose in here which I really like the added rose. I don't know, it just makes it a unique citrus. It's not boring. This is a non-boring citrus fragrance and I really enjoy it. So that is by Kaeli Citrus 08. Another refreshing one for the summer that I absolutely love is by Giorgio Armani and this is Ocean Di Gioia. This one is just the most refreshing but yet sweet, but not too sweet, aquatic, Hair. It's a beachy fragrance, but it doesn't smell like sun. There's no suntan lotion. There's no coconut. It's nothing like that. And this is an underrated gem. I love this one. Somebody left a comment that they don't get good performance out of this one. I think it was on my Instagram and I was kind of surprised because again, this is another one that lasts all day on me. It's not loud. It doesn't project super far. I get a tiny little scent bubble, but it's a long lasting fragrance on me. I don't really have any issues with it. I think it smells incredible. And another just super refreshing fragrance that cools me down in the summer. So that is by Giorgio Armani Ocean Di Gioia. All right, I finally got to put a little dent and some wares into my Erin Hibiscus Palm. This is one that I've been dying to wear. I got it during the Sephora VIB sale in the fall and I really haven't, you know, this is a summer fragrance for me, so I wasn't able to wear it much. So this month I was able to dip into this and I absolutely loved it. This is Frangipani and Ylang Ylang. Lots of tropical yellow florals with some coconut. And I love this one. This makes me feel like I'm at a very like upscale resort somewhere, just having the best vacation carefree time of my life. It smells so good to me. I just love this one and the performance on this one is amazing on me. I get all day wear out of this and a beautiful scent bubble. So really, really enjoy this one. Get your nose on it. It's not going to be for everyone because it does have that like kind of suntanny coconutty vibe in here. To me, it's not over the top, but some people, it might be not their favorite. So definitely get your nose on this one. This is by Erin Hibiscus Palm. Up next we have by Latafa, this is Yara. I told you guys that I needed to give this some wares and I did. And I, well, the conclusion I came to is I really love the way it smells. This is tropical fruits. This has some gourmand notes and it. it has a really creamy vanilla in here and it smells fruity tropical vanilla goodness. It smells good. 
I really like the way that it smells, especially the more that it sits. My problem with this one is that it doesn't last very long. This is not a long lasting fragrance on me. The performance is actually quite poor. Only a couple of hours on this fragrance is all I get. Because of that, I don't know that I really recommend this fragrance. I'm not gonna declutter it because I really love the way it smells and I'll just wear this probably at night or chilling around the house or to bed, things like that but I don't know that I would repurchase it because I'm not impressed with the performance. So let me know about this one. Have you tried it? What do you think of the performance? That's Latafa Yara. Okay, the perfume I wore the absolute most in the month of July is by Simone Andrioli. This is Leisure in Paradise. I put one heck of a dent in this perfume. I cannot put this down. This is quickly becoming one of my all-time favorite perfumes in my collection. I'm so in the mood for this. I'm still in the mood for this. I don't normally want to wear a fragrance over and over and over again, even if I really love it. I usually love my variety. I have a larger collection. I want to give all my perfumes love. I like having different perfumes to wear every day, but you could have just, all my other perfumes could have just gone away. Not really. I'm kidding. What I'm saying is, is that this perfume just is the one I kept wanting to wear. I'd wear it one day and I'd want to wear it the next day. And I had to like force myself not to. No, I have other perfumes I need to wear, but this is the one that I was craving. I actually crave this. This is papaya and pineapple. It's so juicy, sweet, and fruity, yummy tropicalness. Papaya, pineapple, there's coconut, but coconut's not the star of the show for me. I get those juicy fruits in here more. There is some vanilla, some woody notes. There's a little bit of, I get a little bit of the woody notes in here, but mostly it's a sweet, delicious, like almost edible. Like I just, I, I picture myself actually biting into the fruits. They're so luscious. This is by Simone Andrioli, Leisure in Paradise. Another one that turned from a strong like into a love. This is by Mont Blanc and this is Signature. When I first got this one, I thought, oh, I really like it, but I don't know that I love it. But after wearing it this month, I love this one. This is a very airy, it it's kind of feels like a cloud. Like a, I just kept getting this like cloud sensation. Like I had this cloud of this delicious citrusy, musky peony fragrance. The peony in here is beautiful. I love the citrusy opening and I love that cloud of musk. It's not sharp or screechy to me. It's just this fluffy, like a fluffy musky perfume that I really enjoy. I got really good performance out of this as well. So no complaints here. Again, not a beast, but decent. It was decent performance. So really enjoyed this one a lot. I think this is a really good affordable gem that turned from a strong like into a love this month. So Mont Blanc signature. From the house of Argos, we have Palace Athene. I love this one. This one I reserved for nighttime, like date nights. So I didn't wear this one a ton in the month of July but when I did wear it, I absolutely loved it. It's pretty strong though. So I didn't feel like during the day I could really pull this one off in the heat, but this has a lot of rose, a lot of berries. I love the berries. I get a lot of like juicy sweet berries and a lot of rose in the opening. There's other florals in here as well. There's some woody notes in here as well. I absolutely love this one. I think it's just fantastic. I think it's absolutely fantastic and I love the bottle. So that is by the House of Argos, Palace Athene. Up next we have by the House of Veronique Goodbye. This is Souvenirs de Tunisie. This one is beautiful summertime orange blossom and neroli fragrance. It has some almond, it has some orange and it has some C notes. And I find it to be a very picturesque type of fragrance. I really do picture myself standing by the ocean or sitting by the ocean with orange blossom and neroli in the air. I'm getting ready to eat some oranges and almonds. I don't know, that's what I picture every time I wear this. It's super, super good. I love, love, love the orange blossom in here. The performance is only moderate. It's not great, it's not terrible, but it's not great. I did find myself needing to reapply this. So that's the only thing I'll say is I wish the performance was a little bit better on this one, but for the for five hours, I really enjoy it. So that is by Veronique Gabay, Souvenirs de Tanisi. Last for the month of July is my loved Idol Aura by Lancome. This is one of my all-time favorite. Again, kind of a fresh feeling. It's not a freshie. It's 
definitely not a freshy fragrance, but it some for some reason it makes me feel refreshed when I wear it in the summertime. I think it's because of the salt. This is a salty rose that somehow translates a little bit to smell like watermelon to me. That's why it's so summery for me. It's like salty watermelon. <laughs> And there's lots of vanilla in here. You gotta, you gotta test this one because the salt is not for everyone. But for me, I love it. And it continues to be one of my most complimented perfumes in my collection. I got compliments on this one in the month of July. And last year when I wore it, I got compliments on it as well. Long lasting, great performance. Get your nose on this one, it's beautiful. All right, you guys, let's pick out 10 new fragrances for the month of August. All right, first up, I'm putting back on my tray Malibu Party in the Bay by Simone Andreoli. This is another one from the house that I absolutely love, although I think I have slightly become more obsessed with Leisure in Paradise, but this one is amazing as well. This is Lime and Coconut. I think I had this on my June tray, but I, I need to wear it again. This is lime, this is coconut, lots and lots of lime. You have to be a fan of lime. Good performing fragrance on me, and it has kind of a slight boozy feel to it. I think there might be rum in here, and there's some sugar in here as well. I think sugar cube, so it has like this, I don't know, kind of sugar on the rim feel to it if you were out partying on the beach or something. I don't know, it's just so good. If you are a big fan of lime, you need to check this one out. I can't get enough of it. Simone Andrioli, Malibu, Party in the Bay. I am also putting, I just recently did a video where I ranked all my Zerzhoffs and my favorite is Dama Bianca and I need to put this back on my tray. I absolutely love this and I need to wear this now because this is a summertime fragrance for me. This is a summer vanilla. It's got kumquat and lime. I love the opening of this. I love the kumquat and lime combo. It's just such a unique and interesting citrusy opening. There's some florals. And then it has this really delicate, easy to wear in the summertime, feminine, almost kind of like a powdery vanilla. There's some woody notes in here too. And I adore this. I think this is, this is one of my favorites. If you've been watching my channel, you know how much I love Dama Bianca. This is one of my all time favorite fragrances ever. Top 10 for life for sure. That is by Zerzhoff. Dama Bianca. Another fragrance that I have become completely obsessed with is by Navitus in collaboration with Aya the Great. This is Ambrosia Imperial. This I cannot wait to wear. This is sexy, delicious, banana, rum, whipped cream, caramel, cinnamon, but it has a twist. It's not a straight up foodie gourmand. It also has some saffron and musk and a green note, there's Devana in here as well. Somehow that all mixes together to smell like an actual perfume, like a grown up perfume, but still delicious at the same time. I love the way this perfume was done. I get absolutely great performance out of this and I think it's amazing. So I cannot wait to wear this one. I feel like I can wear this right now, even in the heat. So loving it. So I cannot wait to wear this some more in the month of August. Okay, up next we have by Afnon. This is Le Fleur Bouquet and I love this one. This is sweet. It has some fruity notes in the opening that kind of smells like peach or nectarine. Kind of smells like Deja Vu White Flower 57 from Kaoli but instead of a vanilla dry down, it has a musky dry down. It's beautiful, it's floral, it's fruity, it's musky. That's basically what it is. It's a sweet, fruity, floral, musky fragrance with really good performance. And I paid $30 for this, I believe. Such an affordable gem and the performance is really good too. And the presentation it comes in is really nice as well. Really impressed with this one. This is Le Fleur Bouquet by Afnon. I have a travel size here from Erin. This is Mediterranean Honeysuckle. I am getting a full size bottle of this. I absolutely love this. I'm not the biggest fan of clean fragrances. Anything that smells like, like clean linen or laundry detergent, things like that, that's not always my vibe, but this has that kind of clean feel to it, but with the most beautiful note of honeysuckle. I really like this one. It has a sweetness to it too. Performance is not amazing. I do have to overspray and I do have to reapply, but I don't care. I love the way this smells. 
and I want to wear it in hot weather. I'm a lot more lenient with performance when it comes to fragrances I want to reach for when it's super hot outside, and August is like the hottest month here. So that is Mediterranean Honeysuckle from Erin. We have a new release from Narcotica. This is Narco Oasis. I've already been talking about this one a ton, and I've been reaching for it even though it wasn't on my tray for last month, but I could not stop myself because I love this perfume. I absolutely adore this. I, like I said, did a full dedicated review on it. If you're interested in knowing all the details, check that out. I love it even more now than I did when I did the review. The more I wear it, the more I love it. The more it settles, it seems like the better it gets. When I first tried this fragrance, the passion fruit was uber strong, but this just gets better and better. It's like macerating and it's settling and everything's blending together. This is passion fruit. This is pear, orange, peach. Lots of luscious, delicious, yummy fruits in the opening, and then you have brown sugar, and you have vanilla. There's some muskiness in here, I believe. It's so good. Difference of opinions on performance on this one. I've heard people say it performs really well, and I've heard people say that it doesn't perform very well at all. My experience with the fragrance is that it's a great performing fragrance. It's an extra to parfum. It doesn't really perform like an extra. It's not Dulce Diablo, okay? That thing is a beast. But this isn't a beast, but it's still decent performing. I wore this to work. I could smell it all day. There's a moderate scent bubble around me. I wouldn't say it fills up a room or anything like that. It's not too much, but I actually like that because this is a summertime fragrance and it's very sweet. And if it was too strong, it would be cloying. So I'm pretty happy with the performance. I don't have issue with it. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Have you tried it? How is the performance on you? But on me, it's just fine. So I absolutely adore this. I think this is such a solid release from the House of Narcotica and I cannot, I cannot stop wearing it. You do have to be a fan of passion fruit though, for sure. Get your nose on it. It's not really a safe blind buy. Get your nose on it first, but that is by Narcotica Narco Oasis. All right, I'm putting the two new Kaolis on my tray. This is the Wedding Silk Santal, and this is the Wedding Velvet Santal. I really love both of them. I did a full dedicated review. I like both of them on their own, but layered together is my preference, so I need a full-size bottle of velvet. I was surprised at how much I like velvet. I really like this one. This has the most beautiful sandalwood, and this is unisex. This is not masculine leaning in my opinion. This is straight down the middle unisex. I feel completely comfortable wearing this. I am in love with the sandalwood in here. And I really like this one as well. This one has a beautiful nectarine and there's some praline in here. It's sweet and it has some white florals, but not too much. There's sandalwood in here as well, but you gotta put these together. I'm telling you, I mean, I really like both of them on their own, but I absolutely love these two layered together. That is Silk Santal and Velvet Santal. New to my collection from the House of Argos is Pour Femme. Really excited to dip into this one. I had tested this first before I purchased it. I was kind of on the fence about it at first. I kind of thought it smelled like flower balm, <laughs> but then when I wore it, I realized it smells different. It's not flower balm, but I would say this is a good beginner niche fragrance. If you're someone who's just getting into niche, and you're not really sure about some of these notes that you don't really find, you know, you know what I mean? Like niche can be a little intimidating for someone just starting out. This one is a really good beginner niche fragrance. It smells very mass appealing. It's very easy to wear, but it's high quality and it smells really good. It's a floral, feminine, super feminine fragrance that I just absolutely love. The performance is moderate all around and I absolutely love the bottle. This bottle is just, this is my favorite Argos bottle, I believe. It's so beautiful. That is by the House of Argos Pour Femme. All right, you guys, last but definitely not least is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. This is by Chanel. This is Chance O Tundra, and this is one of my favorites, like I said. I just love this, and I don't know why, because it's very simple. It's not complex. This is quince in the opening, so it's got this fruity, rosy, musky, everyday, super beautiful, understated perfume, but it smells like you are not even trying. Like you're super beautiful and you don't even have to try. That's what this perfume is. It's gorgeous without even having to try. There's something about it that I can wear this anytime and I know I'm absolutely going to love it. I get moderate performance out of it. This is the EDP, moderate performance. 
especially if I overspray. And yeah, I just think it's super feminine, easy to wear, classy, elegant, sophisticated. The first word that comes to mind with this perfume is elegant. I really like to wear this one in the spring and summer. And I do know that once I go through this bottle, I will get the large size of this fragrance because this is a lifer for me. All right, you guys, and that's it for today's video. Those are the 10 fragrances I've picked out for the month of August. I wanna hear from you. I wanna know, have you tried any of these fragrances? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you interested in trying them? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And if you did like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.